Hi, this release of CRED 093 includes conditional display for fields and forms. I'm going to use a house example to show what this is good for. So these are the custom fields that we'll list for houses. We'll have the kind of house, story, lot size, and zip code. We have different kinds of houses here, which include apartment, house, farm, and lot. The interesting thing is that although the zip code will appear for all houses, the story will only appear for apartment and the lot size will only appear in everything besides apartments. Let's see how we add it to the forms. This is the form for uh, the house, for creating a new house. If we preview the form, we'll see that I can choose the, the house kind, house, farm, lot, but I'm seeing the story and the lot size for, uh, for any house that I choose. And this is not what we want to have. Let's see now how we add the conditional output for the story and the lot size. Here's the lot size. I'm, I'm selecting it and now insert generic fields conditional group this is a lot so I don't want the lot to appear uh, for apartment the lot size house kind if you remember we selected apartment as type 1 so I'm choosing that uh, lot size will not appear for uh, house kind equals one. And now CRED wraps this in the uh, conditional output shortcode. This is the new shortcode that we added to this release, CRED show group. Let's see what we get in the output. Okay, so if it's unless it's an apartment, we get the lot size. That's great. Now let's fix the story as well. We'll do the same for the story. Just uh, reverse logic. Same thing. House kind, and in this now it's going to be equal one. Meaning, this whatever we selected will appear only when house kind is equal one. Edit, and let's preview again. So now, if it's on apartment, we get the story. Anything except apartment, the story goes away, and we get the lot size instead. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy this new feature.